want to do some ham fans. Wait, can you see through it with me doing it? What are you doing? Why are you moving? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm practicing yoga here. Why are you putting that right in front of my face? You can see the whole thing, but you are in my way. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh. blood in your face. You're not breathing. It's okay. You're not doing yoga. All right. So you want to be able to do that? Yeah, no, I can hear us. Is that right one? There. Where's mine? Oh. That's one. Uh, is that two? some more steps. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, there's definitely some more steps there. <laughs> okay. Other thing to be practicing, Bhagasana for at least a minute. All right, just hold Bhagasana, which is, uh, i show you. Crow pose. Crow pose. This one here. So try this with me for a minute. I just felt that one for make your big toes kiss. Um, heels together. That one's just like your uh, plank pose you were doing. It's the same thing where you're. Claw them out your the four points of your hands. Up of your kidneys. It's 20 seconds. Hugging low for your mother. Oh. Try and get your knees up higher into your armpits. Yeah, I'm like that. Yeah, no, me. Just hold it for a minute. That's a good start. It's a 40 seconds. Oh. So there you go. Work on this. Nobody ever does this for a minute. 10 more seconds. Oh, that's a good spot right there. Oh! Damn. Oh! oh. Another good one. So, so try to hold that for a minute. Another yeah. one is going to be, yeah. And then, here, take your hand off your weight, off your arms, and work on your feet in the front plane of the body. So try to get your big toes to kiss. Try right, to push them forward more. Okay, pull your pinky toes back. So, you just pull your toes back. Yeah, pull your toes back. Pinky toes. Yeah, there you go. It's to keep the big toes forward. There you go. Now bend your knees and then lift your sternum and chest up. Then your knee, yeah, then your chest looks great. So at least five deep breaths here. Then you're gonna try to lift your butt off the ground. So charge your toes, try to lift your butt off the ground. Now if that's hard, you take a set of your blocks. And that's perfect. You guys can also do this ridge top and work on that. And try like this. But keep your toes charged. Let's try it again. So here's step one, work your toes up. The key to the press handstand is the toes. You have to keep your feet together. So if that's going well, then you can work on that. Certainly your legs to keep your chest and heart lifting. Your body bright. Heart's great, yeah. Good, okay, cross the legs of your butt again. Cross the opposite leg over the top. Oh, there you go. Flex your toes, good. Good again, keep your toes. So big toes forward. I fall. Toes back. It's over here in the harmonium. You gotta try to, try to do five sets of these push the toes work with the pink toes back. And then you can also work it. Keep 
Keep the heart lifting. Chest hurts rising. Okay, cross your legs. Kind of your butt off the ground again. Oh. Good. Whew. Okay, the next one's gonna be keep the big toes together. Pull the big toes back. And bring your hands forward. Pull the big toes back. Yeah, keep trying to bring your feet to your chest as you pull the pink toes back. Lift your ankles up higher, higher, higher. Oh, yeah. Now keep that up. The hands coming forward. Enjoy your breath. Oh, is that brutal or what? Yeah. Okay. Lower back. Then that's it. Get, lift, keep lifting your heart up. And that's yeah. supposed to go to here. So I used to practice this. Handstand? No. So I used to do this before I did the Bakasana handstand. Mm -hmm. Do this five, you know. So you start here. Yeah. yeah. To keep this, you want to not hurt your back because you're doing this. This is what happens with your yeah. back, and it just kills your low back. It dumps. Yeah. That's where you got to keep the, the chest rising. That's why you pull with the hands. So that's oh, what happened before. So sides of the body long, inner body's bright. So then you never let your chest drop from this place, no matter what happens with the the legs. So that's why you start here because you're pulling. Yes, yeah, so that's right. So you help you to draw to the midline, and then you're practicing that lift up. And then what I would do is then. So then, then do the Bhagasana after. That's if you want to put it together. That's how I'd have people do like this. And then eventually that's going to come to here. The key for this is going to be to keep your feet together. Now the other one's going to be, so come over here and I'll spot you. So the way to get the Bhagasana handstand is do it with your friend. So you do, you know, keep working this on the face this way. Right. Take another a couple steps back. There you go. Okay, so they can do the hand, uh, hands on the ground. Call them that. Like this. Yep. Spread your fingers. Good. So knees hug into the side of your knees. Love the Mbaba. Use your knees in. And try and bring your feet together. Yep, keep your feet hugging in. Let's try it again. Woo! Feet together. Feet together. Feet heels together. Heels together. Good. Press straight up. Good. Good. Okay, bring, keep your feet together. Bend your knees. Knees to the outer edges, you get the triceps again. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna come back up again. Feet together. Two. There you go. Good. Again. Make your knees. Great. Again. Three. Push the feet up. Keep your feet together. Good. Is that three? Good. We'll do yeah. some more. Good. I got my knees pushing to his uh, tricep, the back of his uh, shoulders. Holding really hard with the hips. Feet together. He's doing a nice job. Let's feet one more time. One more time. One more. Let's go. Yeah, feet, hug the midline. Love me a mother. Push down. Push it right down. Rise up. Yeah. Okay, good. Feet to get on the top again and come back down. Good. Ah. Woo. Good job. High five. That's how you start practicing that. And for a friend. <laughs>